Well, good morning. My name is Don Lightfoot. I want to welcome you to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. And uh, today we are interpreting a, a mountain king snake. Uh, one of the interesting characteristics about uh, king snakes in general is they will eat other snakes. They're uh, uh, probably not this size snake, but some of your larger king snakes will actually eat rattlesnakes um, as well as others. But I think he might be a little bit uh, a little bit too small to, uh, to, to tackle one of our western diamondbacks in, in this area, but uh, I have seen some larger, larger common king snakes. And the coloration will vary. Um, down in the valley and in the desert floor, some of our king snakes are more of a black coloration with either a gold stripe or a yellow stripe. They eat a variety of things. Of course, their favorite food would be, would be rodents besides snakes. And uh, they would also uh, like uh, bird eggs. And it's, uh, very common. The other day I was coming home and I happened to look at one of our flower pots where one of our quails were laying some eggs. And as I'm looking, there comes a king snake, right, a black king snake, right up the side of the flower pot and right in. And sure enough, every day when I checked that flower pot, there was one less egg. So that's this time of the year. They, uh, they love the, uh, the quail eggs. And uh, unfortunately, that's, that's basically the way that nature works because uh, They'll, they'll lay a multiple number of eggs. Uh, we sometimes say quail are, you know, very, the reason they have so many young is because they're, they're feeding a lot of the different populations in the desert. One of the things you might, if you take a close look at the snake, one of the very common things all snakes do, and it's a very scientific term, we call it tongue flicking, okay? And they have a forked tongue, and the reason for that, well, they're, they're sampling the molecules of air and then they're touching the, an organ in the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. And because they have a forked tongue, they can sense what's on the right and what's on the left of them. Uh, while the, some people think snakes can't see, they can see, but they're, they're pretty low to the ground. So um, this uh, Jacobson's organ enables them to sense what's in their environment. Um, but they have a very, very, very keen uh, sense. They can detect uh, minuscule amounts of of items, it's actually like a chemical analyzer. The, this, there's an old saying, a coral snake, yeah, a coral snake, and we have a picture of a coral snake kind of at the bottom here. And the, the old saying used to be, red on yellow will kill a feller, red on black is a friend of Jack. And as you can see, this snake has red on black, so he would be a friend of Jack. However, there are a number of snakes that basically are red and black that aren't friends of Jack. In fact, they are also venomous.